this whole step. <laughs> Our opening hymn may be found in the Gather Book, number 878. The Master gave to breathe with the Eight hundred seven. Thus you will keep the issue alive over all the earth. 
Seven days from now, I will bring rain down on the earth for forty days and forty nights. And so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Responsorial song. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above, above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord bless his people with peace. had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, watch out, guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he came aware of these, he said to them, why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? Do you not remember when I broke the five loaves of five thousand, how many weaker baskets full of fragments you picked up? The answer came, twelve. When I brought the seven loaves for four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. A few days ago, we heard the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. Then today, the disciples ask again about the bread. But Jesus turns their attention elsewhere. Jesus warns them and said, Beware of some contagious and dangerous food. Jesus is referring Jesus referring the food that do not actually nourish the body. Jesus is referring this food to power, authority, control, dominance, influence, popularity. And many people are in vain 
of material things. My friends, the food that we must and should pursue is the food from the table of the Lord. Too bad, but very few, many people pursue the bread of life. Now, many people, very few people pursue the bread of life. However, many people pursue dangerous and contagious, contagious food, such as power and control and money. The priority of our society is not the food on the table of the Lord. But they pursue food that poisons their relationship, their mind, and their body. Today's gospel tells us that the real food is on this table, the bread of life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand and let us present our needs. For all God's holy church, may the Lord look graciously upon our every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in serving the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in mind, body, or spirit, May God's mercy and grace bring them peace and relief from all burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered here today, and for all those we love, may the Lord bless us with His peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May the angels and saints lead them into paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for today's intention, Lucille Sipiora, Stephen Kielbasa, Aurelio Elio y Opeña, Jose Hipólito Valles Torres, Miguel Valles, and for Juan Jose Guerrera, and Miguel Guerrera. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause in silence for our personal intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for your love and provision. We ask you to grant our prayers, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for that the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Let us all stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. By the Lord, by the Lord, for the praise and glory of the Lord, for the Lord, for the Lord. O God, who in one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Your Lord Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself in your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy. Together we say, Holy, Holy, Lord. Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Bless you with love in the name of the Lord, O Son You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you in forgiveness and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this word to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your faithful people present here. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart, together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not into evil, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For kingdom and power are you now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in you, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other's Christ's peace, and I believe we can smile to one another. Peace be with you. Thank you for the smile. Peace be with you. Please don't scare your neighbors. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. Who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. Who take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have told you that you enter under my roof, but only for the world.
let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, we pray, and leave those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass Assembly. Thanks be to God. Our last love song is number 635. The King of Love is my shepherd. Thank you. 